Hey guys, it's me, Neon Jacket, bringing you a new series, new look to my channel. Uh, this is going to be a mod review for, yes, as you can tell, Minecraft. Now today, we are going over a... Basically, become a dragon and live, survive as a dragon. There's a decent bit to this mod, and I, I find it quite interesting. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and get into it. So in this mod... We're just going to go over here. In the real world, if you're playing survival like it's meant to be, yeah, you would go mining. Anything that gives experience has a chance of dropping Elder Dragon Dust, and you would turn that. It also drops bones and shut teeth and fangs and claws and stuff like that. Um, you would combine this with that. That gets that. Or you just combine a whole bunch of this to get ele heart element. If you get that, you're able to increase your dragon's size. There are three dragons. We're going to go over here to the altar. There's a whole bunch of different altars right here, if, as you can see. Stone, sandstone, red sandstone, purple, uh, oak, nether brick, and mossy, as well as blackstone. This is a blackstone one. So what I'm going to do real quick. I'm just going to go to survival. Yeah. Oh my. Alright. Okay, so we're gonna go here. Now the three dragons, we have the cave dragon, and they all have different abilities as well. So the cave dragon features fire resistance, pickaxe claws, fire magic, faster movement on cave blocks, weakness is water, ration. It's anything charred, or you can eat coal, you can eat... Uh, it's like this. Let's see here. Go and show it. Well, I could show you, but it's it's basically like magic coal type deal. And you're able to eat coal as this. So we're gonna actually go ahead and test the cave dragon out. Now there's three stages of the dragons. So you have baby, obviously, and like I said before, we're just going to bring out our little heart of element. We're just gonna go ahead and start eating it. Now this is the second form. Now what I want to show you real quick. So if I go back to a baby, the cool thing about this mod, we're just going to dig a little one block hole, like so. And babies can fit in a one by one, so you could easily build a little cave like such and just live. You could have your nest in the corner and a few things, and you'd be well protected. Now, obviously the bigger you get, the less likely that's going to happen. Now, to show you one of the cave dragon's abilities, as you see their hunger bar, it's black. We would be eating coal and stuff like that. But the cool thing is, you're able to see and swim in lava. So you can see through lava, so as you can see here, there's some diamonds. We're just going to dig that up, and it mines pretty fast, and no matter what, if it weren't in lava, at least, you'd pick it up. Let's see if we can get this one. It doesn't look like there's an issue with breathing under lava. Sounds weird to say in Minecraft, but it doesn't seem to be an issue with that. Now we're going to go ahead and go ahead, just get up to adult. As you can see, the models change. Now, there were wings on the dragon model in the preview. I do not see the wings in game. You cannot fly, it's just nothing but hopping. I'm not entirely sure how to fix that, but if you know, let me down in the comments. Now that we have seen the fire dragon, these are the nests of all the dragons. So this is all the fire dragon nests. This is your fledgling we'll go with, and then your adolescent, and then your elder. These will change the larger you grow in survival, so you can, you'll can you always have your nest, it'll just upgrade. This is... We're actually just going to go ahead and let's see, whatever. This is the earth. This is the forest dragon. Honestly, I kind of like this one the most. It's I like the textures. I like how it looks all the way up. I think this is probably my favorite nest right here, just because of the totem poles. And then their elder nest, you have lily pads and all sorts of foresty and life stuff. Now, the sea dragon, you have sand and a little puddle. Got some waterfalls with like the uh, underwater temple blocks. And you got this cool looking thing, all water. All of these have like a waterfall or a lava fall. 
coming out of the dragon head on each of them, which is pretty cool. Another thing that goes specifically for your dragon type are these doors. Now, these can only be open, if I'm not mistaken, these can only be opened by that type of dragon, and that that goes, that follows through, so yeah, if, that's a really cool idea to have, just for the fact, if you are making a server just off of this, just for the dragons, then you could have clans of fire dragons, sea dragons, and forest dragons, and have these guarding your home, I think that'd be really cool, I, I think that'd be a nice idea to have, it'd be quite fun. Now we're gonna go ahead and switch to the next dragon. So this the cave dragon is nice, and you're able to switch back and forth, you know, as as often as you want. But we're gonna go ahead and go here now. This little dude, the forest dragon. These dudes. Let's read it. The forest dragon, soft fall. So that means you know you can gracefully fall. Axe claws, poison magic, faster movement on the forest blocks, so like grass and wood and stuff like that. The weakness is dark caves. Now that, I could actually show you. I'll show you that in a second. This all eats sweet berries, pork chop, chicken, so basically the normal thing a human would eat. Except for spider eyes, you don't normally eat that, but, you know. Is that right? Yep. They have all these neat little pictures to describe it. Now, whilst I find a cave, I believe there's one over here if we go to, let's see, yeah, it's a little unloaded. Now, if we go in the dark, you'll see a sunlight bar. We need, we need sunlight. I am dying, so I'm gonna go ahead and eat up and grow to the next stage, come a little stronger, do a little dancey dance. So this is the second stage of the forest dragon. Pretty cool in my opinion. I like this model. We're gonna go ahead and get to the final stage. Just bigger, nothing really changed. Got some more frills on the face and the jaw. That's about it. But all in all, pretty cool. Now, the forest dragon can cut down trees pretty nicely. And we do have speed since we are on grass blocks, so we move faster. And yeah, this this cuts not as well as like a diamond axe would. At least not an enchanted diamond axe, but pretty quick for just using your bare hands. So we're gonna go ahead and go to the water dragon. Now the water dragon's good with digging. Oh, I'm sorry, sea dragon. Underwater breathing, infinite. Shovel claws, electricity magic, faster movement on sea blocks, so I believe sand and water counts as that. Weakness is dry air, so as you can see down here, we do have a water hot bar, and all they eat is fish meat and stuff like that. Let's see. Cod, golden apple, salmon, honey bottle, puffer fish, tropical fish, kelp, and then an enchanted golden apple. So stuff like that. Now this dude, honestly, is rather cute, and... I mean, it it does have a, I'd say, the runner-up to my personal favorite. This one's not bad, but I feel like it's just kind of cliche for a cave dragon when it comes to lava and stuff like that. Alright, so since we're being chased by a zombie, I'm going to go ahead and get to the next stage. Now, as you see, we get frills and a spade tail. So, yeah, let's see. Okay. I'm just going to grow up a little more to the final stage, because why not, you know? Come here, buddy. Yeah, that's what I thought. Alright, and as you can see, now that I am a water dragon, I can open this, and no longer can open this, or this. So I, I do really like that whole idea, that whole concept right there. It leads to a lot of your own, th like, creative thinking and ideas. Especially for, like, servers and stuff. I, that's just really interesting to me. Now, what we are going to do is run over here. And we are going to just jump on in here. Now, yeah, okay. Just like so. Very, very quick swimmers. Very nice. Absolutely. They eat fish. I don't see any fish. All I see are squids, so... We're just going to go ahead and get out of here. 
Okay, now that it is actually nighttime and we are able to sleep, there's something we can do with the nest right over here. Now here we're able to pick up the nests. Now the nests are three by three, just a heads up. You're also able to, okay, next regeneration you can toggle on or off. If we were to, let's see here. We're just gonna go here and go to creative and we're gonna take, take a stack of 64 of these. Now we are going to go back into survival, go here, put that here. Now this will help, I believe, our nest generation, if I am not mistaken. We are also able to sleep in the nest, and if I could see us in it, let's see if I can. Yep, you just lay right in the middle of the nest, do a little, a little lay down, that's it. I'm not entirely sure what this is supposed to do. I'm just going to pick it up, because why not? Place it back down, because I don't want it. Now, now that it's daytime, and we are completely safe from all of the nasties and monsters, we're going to run over here. We have won this block, Dragon Memory for Beacons. We have a Sea Beacon of Peace, Forest Beacon of Magic, as well as a Cave Beacon of Fire. Now we're going to place a Sea Beacon, and as you can see, we have two little buffs now. We have Animal Calm and Sea Peace. These, honestly not entirely sure what they do. I wish they gave a description, but if you hold right click, apparently it kills you. It's good to know. But you have all of these, they all have different buffs. Anti-Predator and Forest Magic, which I'll get to the whole Predator thing here in a second. There we are. Alright, so now we have all the buffs. Forest Magic, Anti-Predator, this is for the Forest Dragon. Animal Calm and Sea Peace is the uh, Sea Dragon. Cave Fire and Fire Resistance is this lovely dude right here, the Cave Dragon. They all do something, they all help something. I am not entirely sure the radius of it. We can find that out right quick. Let's just see, we're just gonna keep running this way and wait until they start flashing. Okay, so about that far away. That's not that much space, I'd say it's about 50 blocks, maybe? Maybe? Alright, now, for the fun part, the mobs. It does have a few different mobs. Um, we have the Predator Spawn Egg, which I believe these burn. These are really nasty little dudes. Uh, whenever you... Now those, right there. Those will blow up. If you touch it. I really do not want to touch... Like so. Yep, okay. Exactly what I was trying. <laughs> exactly what I was not trying to do. So in survival, you obviously would want to avoid getting struck in nature by one of those, because that obviously would just suck. So we're just gonna go ahead and fix this back. Get rid of that. We're not gonna deal with any more of those. Now for the rest of the mobs, we have Hunter Spawn. So obviously this is. I'm not entirely sure if he's to hunt dragons. Doesn't look like he is, or if he's to hunt. Let's see. Let's see real quick. Oh, yeah. Ow. It's quite rude, sir. I'm gonna spawn the hound. Attack him. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Okay, so they all work together. Oh! Did you just kill your own dog? Isn't he supposed to be on your side? That right there. So you can get Elder Dragon Dust as well from the Predators, but they're really hard to kill at, you know, young dragon stages. Here's the Princess. We have the Squire, as well as the Armored Knight. Now look at that guy right there. That's, that's a nice looking NPC. We also got the Prince. <laughs> look at that nose. And then we have Princess on the horse, as well as she is armored. Now let's see if we... Uh, just... Oh, they have different sizes. Oh, my! Oh, I forgot they teleport. Youch. Youch. We're just gonna go to creative. I wanted to see if these dudes fought them. Doesn't look like they give all too much of a crap. The big dude does not fight. Okay, that's interesting. All right. Well, other than that, that is pretty much. Oh, 
Can I talk to you? Hold on. Am I? Oh, wow. Okay. Gold nugget. Iron sword for gold nugget ends. Interesting. All right. Do you do anything? No, you don't like people. Same here, buddy. Same here. Other than that, thank you guys for watching, and definitely check this mod out for yourself. I do think it could be some fun in survival if you wanted to play and become a dragon. So yeah, until next time, remember, shine bright, neon bright.